Yo gang, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of Cozy Place with yours truly, the one, the only, the greatest football manager to have ever done it. Me, Cozy Place, obviously. That's, you know, we've, we've done this intro before about 63 times now. I'm not sure exactly how many times, but a few times. So we are back today with the FA Cup game against Ipswich. Bloody Ipswich. Ipswich have been like a long-term rival in the save, but we always get Ipswich in the cup. So we're back today with the game against Ipswich. Sheffield United away and PSG in the Champions League. Big triple header today. So let's not muck around, keep me big, let's get me small, and we'll find out how we've got on, and then we'll crack on with this episode, because it's going to be a long one. So we are with you, back at the Ipswich game. Since you left us, which was the Norwich game, it's not been all roses, you know. Cop the draw away at West Ham, one all, not the best result. And we lost to Chelsea away. It was unlucky, really. They, they scrumped it in the death. Two goals in the 90th minute was absolutely dog shit if I'm honest and then Yusuf Hashimiti put us 1-0 up early doors sending off didn't help neither so bit crap then a 1-0 home defeat to Liverpool Emile Smith-Rowe managed to get the goal for them which again was disappointing we didn't manage to get any juice any any sauce anything going but then we switched it around in a 3-1 win against Brighton away which is a fantastic result and then we got a 3-0 home victory against Spurs which Again, cracking result, Pekovic and Shimiti with another two goals for us. He is flying this year. 15 goals and 18 starts. 20 and 22 overall. He's He's been very good for us this year, so which leads us nicely on to the Ipswich game. We have just entered January. Nothing special happening, nothing special gone on, really. I'm not planning to make any transfers. A couple of players might go out on loan. A couple of players might get sold if that's the case and I will buy a couple of players in but at this moment where we sit I'm pretty happy going forward so we'll choose our team against Ipswich come back for the game find out how we get on I'm hoping to progress it it's you know a third round game which I hope we can win so let's let's give it a whirl I will choose my starting 11 and I'll be right back with you looking at it going into the Ipswich game I'm gonna go Bazunu, Yegorov, Debast, Fernandez, Batella, Petkovic, Fernandez, Heze, Otek, Ivan and Zikovic up front. Slightly weakened side going in, but I'm going to rest a few players as we've got big games coming up in the league, so let's give it a whirl. And we will say, let's give the fans no it's a away game. I don't like doing that when we're away, so the media's giving us a bit of credit. Let's go and live up to that credit. It's which coming down with a few. Youngsters, it looks like it's which have got a few regens on their on their books. Buster Mansford looked like one. There we go. Buster Mansford, not the best, but playing bits from. We took Humphreys, obviously. I probably should have played him today. So, 11 minutes, 12 minutes in, and nothing really coming. Let's drop some encouragement. But it seems to be them creating everything. 25, we've not yet had a shot. Demand some more from these boys. Come on, lads. I want to see something from you here. Zip switch. Having the better of the game has finally a highlight decides to crop up. Otep. The Bass Fernandez. Switches it well, but too well. Jao Fernando. Oh, I put a bit of space on the right for Lang as they missed the tackle. It was wild. Ooh. It has fallen to Zikovic. It will hold it up, Ivan Fernandez. Oh, lovely ball. Oh. And I think did Altec get the header across? And if so, Zikovic. Runs in to make it 1-0. Ivan's ball. Fernandez is outside of the right foot. No, it was a defender. The defender with a poor header. I don't think Otet's getting an assist for that. He's definitely not. And the first clear-cut chance forced the Plymouth Argyle and they put it away. That's also a nice... First half, not much gone on whatsoever though. 
I want to see a bit more in the second half, despite us being 1 0 up. Oteta is struggling. I'll just let them play out for a little bit of Heze. The blast. Pekovic, Fernandez. Heze switches it to Oteta, who will get there. Oh, and Jäger off. Cut us inside, but just couldn't quite get the finish in. Or on target. On target would have been nice, but he just couldn't quite manage to get there. As Ipswich have come out the better in the second half, but we'll look to steal the momentum again. As we pick it up with a highlight 60 minutes in, Mateus Fernandez, Batala. Oh, referee. And that's a red card, Callum Lang. Went in late and from behind on Batala and the ref's having none of it. And that leaves us one to play with of half an hour to go. We have been slack against teams down to ten men. We've allowed them back into it. Chelsea were, were a prime example of that. Where we were comfortable like this. They were down to ten and nicked two. I don't like just being one goal up. I'm going to demand some more from them. Let's try and turn another one of these many chances. 11 now. The second half's been much better than the first half. Into something, yeah? The pass clears. Out to Kepa Ruiz, who turns on the afterburners in his gold boots. Couldn't quite find the pass as Harper intercepts. Humphreys, Whitaker, and there we go. Yes, boys. That's the one that kills the game. That's the one that puts us 2-0 up and into the fourth round of the FA Cup. Humphreys comes in, intercepts Zitkovic with the pass. Whitaker composure. And he managed to slot it in. Petkovic for Hassan. Ruiz. Koch Patalik. Give him a really tough ball to control. Humphreys to Zikovic. Maybe, maybe could have done better. Love the arrow pointing out. Bebe. Get out. <laughs> With 86 minutes. Tofolo. Down the left for Ipswich, switches it inside, but the beast wins it. Tofolo comes again down the left. And this time the ball is fantastic. That's a lovely ball from Tofolo. And Ipswich were unlucky. That's a hell of a cross from Harry Tofolo. He's just come on. Probably the best thing he's going to do all season. season. No defence to Harry Nafolo. To follow, but that's a decent result for us. Come out two new winners. Away at Ipswich. Happy with that. Well done, lads. That will do. Good result. Right, gang. Let me trudge on forward and I'll see you at the Sheffield United game. See you in a bit. We are back then, guys and girls, for the Sheffield United game. But what a week. We've had some stuff happen. We have had a bid, which I couldn't really refuse. A 55 million, million rising up to 60. For our man, Yusuf Shemiti. He's been, he's been our man, hasn't he? I've had him since season one. He's played in every season for us. Played a starring role every season. Not a single season under a seven. Even his first two seasons in the Premier League. Last season he was unbelievable. This season he's been equally as good. But 60 million, some trains only come along once, don't they? So I've had to, had to accept that as a bid. We've had to re-register some players for the Champions League, leaving Humphreys, uh, leaving Dalial not very happy. Humphreys has offered and wanted a new contract, but ugh, he wants 100 grand a week and I'm not willing to offer it. Even Schmidt is only on 84. So yeah, been a really interesting week. Been a really, been a really exciting time. I'm going to have to maybe go out and look for something to replace Schmidt this transfer window. We've got loads of money. We've got so much money. So I think we maybe go out and try and spend and find a replacement for Schmidt or allow Zitkovic to come on now. 
it's it's we've got choices we've got options anyway so i'm not super worried but let's choose a starting 11 and crack on with the game looking at our starting 11 going into the sheffield right away game elion and go elion andre in go sanchez edwards pinero Yegorov, petkovic humphreys asan Ota, ruiz kepa kepa ruiz and zikovic up front uh, Schmitty is going to be dropped as he's got negotiations going on and his mind's probably going to be elsewhere which will allow us to use some of the other players Ivan's obviously a good replacement up front we know he can do bits he did bits last year so yeah we will get into the Sheffield United game and hope that we can bag a win so we will pump our fist yeah good run lately go out give me impress me come on I think now's the time for Zitkovic to come on and step forward and become our number nine I was planning on him doing it next year anyway with Schmitty becoming his backup but 60 million on the table from Barcelona I can definitely look to go and reinvest it next season can I as we got 15 minutes on the clock here away at Sheffield United <coughs> we've been putting up together some good runs and some good results in the league so I want to maintain that really. Asan to Bekovic, who's dispossessed, but Humphreys does pick up the loose ball. Ruiz to Yegorov. Oh, Ruiz gives it away. Panero brings it down coolly. Bekovic, lovely ball to Asan. Oh, and the midfield pairing. Combine to make it 1-0 to Plymouth Argyle. It's going to stand. It was a lovely ball give and go. Hassan kept going. Great fast touch, composed finish. And with Liverpool just signing Jude Bellingham, this guy had been compared to him many a time. By me mainly, but that don't matter. But good start. Can we capitalise and get a second? Ooh, as Giles at the back post. A looping cross. Cross was a pure looper. Hey God, Ganella. A spurly intercepted well by Edwards Yegorov. Panera. Takes his time, Petkovic. To Ortet. Sanchez a bit wider on the right. Lovely. Inside to Ortet. Oh, and it's cross to Kepa Ruiz. And it's like last season again. Kepa Ruiz of only his fourth goal of the season. But Ortet's cross was lovely. And Ruiz at the back post to make it 2 0 to Plymouth Argyle. Altet, little ball, soon cap Ruiz. I couldn't really miss, could he? Get in there, lads. Not, not Norrington Davies with the free kick to share. Oh, he skips in and that's really on the line. And Sheffield United are back in it, lapsing concentration from the Plymouth Argyle defence. That isn't ideal. Ronnie Edwards let him get past. How was Asprey onside then? He did look offside. But that's by the by. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of better. I am going to be a bit of a grouch and demand a bit more. So I'd like to see a little bit. Humphreys with a free kick. To the back post, Lotet. Knocked it back into the danger area, but it was cleared off the line. There was a decent header from Aaron Enric Lotet. Zikovic not having the best of games, which I don't know is a touchline shout, so I'm going to demand some more from him. Everybody else is playing okay, right? Pekovic has picked up enough. Ivan can come on up front, both my wingers are playing pretty good and I know Ivan can do a job up front and Zikovic just wasn't playing to the standard that I need him, 6.4 just not, not where we need you to be at the moment dude Humphreys with a free kick oh, that was a good save I apologise and it was a great save from the goalkeeper, a good free kick from Humphreys. Just did what he had to do, just got it on target. Made the goalkeeper work. 
with 10 minutes to go. Result coming through. We can hold off. Second half has been relatively boring. Not managed to create anything. Not many highlights. He says Sanchez to Fernandez. Sanchez with the cross in. Ivan and Ruiz couldn't get their head on it. Yeager off. There's a Worth a dig. Five minutes of added time. Don't know where that's come from. As we've what we need more than two goals from that. Come on, lads. Looks like we're gonna miss Schmitty. But we get the 2-1 win, which is a really good result away at Sheffield United. Good win for us. I'm not going to be two negs. Should have done better. We all know this, but it keeps us in it. Keeps us in there, and that's that's what we want. So, gang, we'll be back for the PSG game. I will see you in a few days' time. Not in, literally in a few days' time, like literal days, but once a few days are done, I'll be back. So, in a bit. So, gang, back we are for what is really a true, true test. If we want to compete in this Champions League this season, PSG are going to be there or thereabouts, aren't they? So, this is going to be a proper, 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 proper true test of how we're going to get on this year. So let's see how we do in the Parc de Paris and, you know, hope we can pick up a result. I will choose to start 11 and be right back with you guys. So see you in a sec. So looking at it, going into the PSG game. Elian Andre, George Santos, Jorge Sanchez, Carlos de Beast, Pinero, Batella, Petkovic, who's not going to make the full game, but will start. Humphreys. Hassan, Otet, Kepa Ruiz and Zitkovic up front. Schmitty has made the bench due to Ivan's injury, but he is obviously due to go very soon. So let's move forward and hope we can get a result. So we will pump our fists. I know we're underdogs, but let's give the fans something to cheer about. It's There we go. We know it's the Champions League now. We've had the music. And they've got a decent team, haven't they? they got Musiala, man. But they do play narrow. Kimmich with a free kick. Oh, no. Not what we need to be doing, right? Penalty. Awarded, of course it is. Tech give it away. I think he's given away a couple of penalties this year. The idiot. And Beppe against Andre. Oh, what was that? Off the underside of the bar, are you sure? Andre looked like he saved it. Goodness great. Even the that is a cheat. Batting in. Can't see us crap replay that is. That is an in. Fuck off is that in. That in in. Encourage boys, come on. And Bappe again. Given another chance. He's playing as a deep line forward, which probably really dangerous position for him because he can run from deep. We need a bit of magic ourselves and it's all PSG at the moment. Pinero does get the header away. Mendes. Kimmich, Marquinhos, Soler, with a flick little ball in, and Timo Werner, Mendes, Kimmich, I'm not something, Werner was offside, they've got Timo Werner, Jesus, and he's causing all sorts of trouble, Petkovic to Sanchez, we need to get hold of this ball boys, Kepa Ruiz, and just to nod it on Marquinhos and space, Hakimi, Kimmich. It's a lovely ball to Timo Werner. Carlos the Beast as well, and Andre clears. But it's going to go right back to PSG and Kimbepe. Soler, but Petkovic is on him. Otet. Sanchez. Oh, lovely ball through to Zikovic. Oh, and he probably should have, maybe could have done better. Kimmich, win it. Oh, and it's tinged off the post, I think. 
Oh. It's Kimmich with the corner. Capriz. Zuckovic will not be able to bring it away. Mbappe to Mendes. The highlight continues. Soler. Oh, and the free kick is given away. Kimmich again with it. Sustained pressure from PSG and Kimbepe on the back post. I'm switched to balanced. Demand some more. I don't believe his formation's better than ours. I just don't. Carlos the Beast and Pinero both playing shit. Not great experience at this level, I guess. When Mbappe has picked up a knock, it's not you know, a positive thing. They're already 2 0 up. Come on, lads. Pekovic is going to have to come off. going to have to be done. Been terrible so far, sorted out. They have been. Like, there's no getting away from it. 6.4 is all over the board. It's not what we're needing, really. And this could be a swan song as he's looking to go to Barcelona. Knocks it out to Sanchez. That needs to disappear. Andre's long hoof gives it away. And Mbappe comes and turns. He's got time. Soler. Cooperman's. Soler. Oh, that's a lovely run from Soler. Oh, half an hour to go. I don't think we're going to find a way back into it. Otep wins it. But it gives it away as Victor Roque. Oh, it was unlucky. It's been brought on for Mbappe. Yeah. They're feeling comfortable. Encourage. Not been totally out. But they've come on a bit better and managed to get those early goals and put us to the sword. And it's left us a bit shell shocked. And not able to reply with anything of our own. Let me try and fire them up. I'm going to switch it to but back to positive. Let's see if there's anything in it. There isn't. I am going to say I'm lucky though. I'm not going to be too harsh. It's our first season in Champions League. Champions League football experience isn't abundant in my squad. There you go. Disappointing way to end our little triple header here, but yeah, they're not too happy with that really. <laughs> That leaves us on the edge of the playoff situation, which makes the game against Roma vital, which is the game we will be back next for, I think. It makes it super vital, so we will see how we get on against Roma. I think that is when we return for the next episode. So yeah, gang, as I said, we will be back for the Roma game, just due to the fact that it's super important. There's only one game away, but I thought... You know, it is super important. Our Champions League debut season, are we going to get through for the playoffs or are we going to get in via the automatic top whatever number it is? I can't remember what, what number it is. But if we win, we, we, we hit the playoffs. If we win, we avoid the playoffs. If we lose, we're in the playoffs. So we will see how we get on against Roma in the next game. Thank you very much for watching this triple header. I know it's been longer and it's a bit of a disappointing end to it, but two good results and not a bad result. You can't, can't moan too much about losing 2-0 away at PSG. They're, they're, they're pretty damn good. So we'll take that experience, use it, make us better, and then go on into the next game and hopefully get a result against Roma, as I said. So I look forward to seeing you in that game. Much love from me. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all the rest of it. Much love and peace.